grabbed a uh, wireless doorbell and it wasn't working real good. I have a brick house that wasn't getting the signal real well, so I decided to go back to wired. And the house was built, they wired it. You can see here they wired it with telephone wire. So I've got the four different colors of telephone wire. When I first took off the wireless button, it wasn't quite clear on which wires I should use. Common sense would say red and black, but I wasn't quite sure. So I'm gonna go in the house and show you where the wires come into the electrical box where the chimes are. You can find a dozen videos showing that you need to hook up a transformer. But in most houses, when you get to where the old doorbell was and you don't take it down, guess what? All we have in this box is more telephone wire. Well, now what's going on? We gotta find the transformer. In my particular house, we come up the attic and up here by the water heater where the furnace switches are, because my furnace is in the attic too, is, guess what? There's your transformer. Notice the electrician, and it makes sense, right? The common colors. We got one red and one black coming in and out of the transformer. Now we know what colors to use. We're gonna use red and black. Knowing we need to use red and black, back down at the chime box on the wall, I have the two telephone wires. So let's think for just a second. The whole principle here is we're trying to make a circuit, uh, a circuit between the button, a transformer, and the chime. It's a big circle. The button, when we push the button, it's gonna connect the circuit. So basically what that means is we need a wire running from the button up to the transformer, which is where the electricity is coming from, a wire coming out of the transformer down to the chime, and then a wire from the chime goes back to the button. So the circle is button, transformer, transformer to chime, chime to button. The only thing that's disconnected then is, that disconnects the circuit is the button. So when you depress the button, the circuit is complete and the electricity will flow through the chime. So again, how do we get a wire from the button all the way up to the transformer in the attic? Well, what the electrician did is he ran one telephone wire from the button up to this box. He ran another telephone wire from the box up into the attic to the transformer. So all I have to do is take, I can choose red or black, but take one of those wires that comes from the button up into this box and connect it to the same color wire that runs from the box up to the transformer. I chose red. So now the red button, the, the, excuse me, the red wire from the button comes up in here, connects, and this wire then, the extended wire, takes it up to the transformer. Now, I know I had a red and black out of the transformer. I just need to complete the circuit. So to complete the circuit, the black wire runs out of the transformer down to the chime. And you're gonna notice that middle screw on the chime actually says trans or transformer. So I take the black wire running down from the transformer, attach it to the transformer screw. The other wire, the other black wire that comes out of the other cord, telephone cord, is the telephone cord and the black wire that runs down to the button. So I take that black wire and I attach it to either the front chime or the back chime. You can decide whichever one sound you like a little better. And I attach that block, black wire to that screw. Now, that wire is running from the other side of this connection down to the button. So now we have the circuit. Button, red wire, up to here, connected. Red wire, up to transformer, connected. That's a straight wire running all the way to the transformer. Nothing else is intersecting it. The black wire running out of the transformer is running down here, jumps over to here, and then runs down to the button. So when I press the button now, the circuit will be complete and the chime will ring. Now, sometimes if you get this wired wrong, you're going to have buzzing or humming coming out of this. And so you have to just stop the process and retrace the wires to make sure you don't have any overlapping wires or something shorting out or touching. 
because if so, this circuit will be closed the whole time. Sometimes the button gets stuck and that leaves the circuit open. And what happens is your little solenoid that controls this plunger, when it's under uh, electricity, all of the time will start to get hot. You'll smell it smoking or you could even smell a bit of a burning smell. So um, I'm not really gonna solve all the problems. I was just making this video to show you how to think about getting the wiring correct when the electrician actually used telephone cable to connect the button to the chime box up to the solenoid and back to understand when you have two telephone cables, how do you connect that wiring to make it work? Hopefully this helps. Thanks.